Hello students, we will now talk about the second model of communication, the Shannon Weaver model. This was created by Claude Elwood Shannon and Warren Weaver in 1949. And who are they? Claude Elwood Shannon was an American mathematician and an electrical engineer who laid the theoretical foundations for digital circuits and information theory a mathematical communication model, while Warren Weaver was also an American scientist and mathematician and a science administrator. He is widely recognized as one of the pioneers of machine translation and as an important figure in creating support for science in the United States. They are the proponents of the Shannon Weaver model. Let's have the initial model developed by Shannon and Weaver. It has the following elements. We have the sender, who is the information source. We have the encoder, which is a machine that converts the idea into signals or binary digits. Then we have, uh, however, it can be a person also, uh, a person that converts the idea into spoken or written words or actions. Then we have the channel, which is an infrastructure that gets the information from the sender and then go there through the decoder and receiver. It is the medium of communication. We also have the element of noise that interrupts the communication process. A decoder is a device that decodes the message and uh, converts the signals the received signals into a message or into a format that the receiver will understand. Then the receiver is the end point of the communication process. That is the time that he or she gets the message. Just like the Aristoteles model, this model has no concept of feedback. So it has been criticized for missing the uh, essential element feedback without it the sender will not know whether the recipient gets the correct context of the message or not so here comes norbert weiner who added a seven con concept in the shannon weaver model which changed it from a linear model to a cyclical or interactive model of communication now here is the modified model of uh, Shannon Weaver. Weiner added the element of feedback. So from the sender, we have the encoder, the channel, the noise, the decoder, the receiver, and additionally, we have feedback. Let's have this example. Thompson called his assistant and said, come here, I want to see you. During his call, a car suddenly horned and this assistant only heard I want. The assistant inquired, what do you want, Thompson? Again, what are the elements in the Shannon Weaver model? We have the sender, the encoder, the channel, the noise, the decoder, and the receiver. Who is the sender? Thompson. Our encoder would be the telephone of Mr. Thompson. The channel would be the cable or the electrical wires. Then we have the noise, the car horn, the decoder is the telephone used by the assistant, and of course, our receiver is the assistant. Additionally, again, we have the feedback, which is the question from the assistant. What do you want, Thompson? So that is the feedback. Once again, the initial model of Shannon Weaver and the modified model of Shannon Weaver model of communication. Please take note of the distinction because most of the references only include the initial model of communication, which doesn't have the feedback loop. Once again, thank you and keep on learning.